and action. Hi. What did we? Action. Hi. It's Peggy and Ross, ready to make roasted squash with yogurt and spiced butter, not, uh, buttered pistachios. Uh, we're going to use Allison Roman's cookbook that we got from the Village Bookshop. She has a lot of fairly straightforward recipes, and we happen to have a squash that we're going to use. Perfect. So this is the acorn squash sliced into one and a half inch wedges. It's a little tough to cut, but absolutely fabulous work for the upper arms. And when the summer does come back, you know, we might need those. Uh, if you've got some tools at home, a buzzsaw is not out of the question. There we go. Ah, that's lovely. Now what you can do is you can scoop out the seeds, but personally, Allison likes the seeds and we like Allison, so we're going to keep the seeds in. So now it needs to be cut into what sort half of wedge? wedges? Half inch. One and a half inch. One and a half inch wedges. That's a bit of a difference, isn't it? Maybe sixes. Those in thirds. Uh, too late for that. I'll try this one in thirds. This stems a bit of a problem. What? I think this is what's causing us the problem, but it, well, it doesn't want to come out. This is a reluctant acorn squash, but the deed must be done. So with these, you can just pop that into one and a half inch. Do you think I should make this one smaller? I think this one's too large. So as you see, uniform half inch, one and a half inch slices. Toss the squash on a rimmed baking sheet with the oil. It's about three tablespoons of oil. So we just flip it around to make sure that it's boiled equally on our little pan here. It doesn't hurt to use your hands just to make sure the sides are done. The seeds add flavor, so we've left them in. Apparently, Allison does the same in the book. And season with salt and pepper? Yeah. Okay, so this is the part where we're gonna roast the squash for 40 to 50 minutes. When we have our oven at temperature, since we've got a small amount of squash, we're just going to check it at 35. So, melt the butter in a small pot for medium heat. Cook swirling occasionally. I see a lot of brown flax. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And the directions call for adding a quarter of a cup of raw pistachios that have been finely chopped, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, and then the recipe calls for a pinch of cinnamon and a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. It smells really good. We're gonna season now just with some flaky sea salt and we're gonna set this aside till everything else is ready. This is one cup of full fat Greek yogurt. It's not actually though. <laughs> then we need two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And season with salt. Spoon the yogurt sauce onto the bottom of the serving bowl or platter. over top, top with salt and a bit of black pepper, and voila. Shall we try it? Ah. Yes, I think so. Looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. Hi, Roz. <laughs> Should we tell everybody what I'm we did? <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Hi. Today we had a lot of fun. We made a recipe out of a book that we bought at the Village Bookshop. Do have to do everything, Roz? Is it not taping? Yeah, it's taping. Oh. Okay, uh, my name is Roz. And I'm, my name is Roz's mother. <laughs> Today we cooked a side dish. We ate it as a main course. At any rate, we cooked it this morning. It, it was fairly easy to cook. It tasted delicious. Very difficult to film. Uh, you missed a lot of the nuance, but what can we say? We ate it actually over an hour ago and we're still feeling fine. Anyway, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Um, we're thinking of becoming 
uh, formal figure skaters because we didn't even put a chance at that the TV prison. <laughs> I hate this.